one day a girlfriend of mine and I decided we'd heard that aircraft repair were hiring people. And so we walked from our afternoon shift on a hot July day from 97th Street, where GWG was, to the airport, put in our applications, and uh, I was hired. I was given my um, tag, number 881, and a book of rules. Acceptance was 30 cents an hour. I suspected because I had had a job sewing that perhaps I would go to the fabric department. But another girl and I were sent to the sheet metal shop. There were long benches, a big, uh, big room, and high stools. Our first job was filing washers, small parts that had been stamped out but had rough edges. And we had a set of files, different sizes, and we were to smooth the edges. Then they went to the de uh, inspection department, and the they were either rejected or sent back, so we'd do some more filing, or they passed. It was exciting. Something was moving all the time. You were doing different jobs. You were different. Uh, you didn't sit in one place doing one thing. Later in my part of it, it was my job to find the right component for the right plane that was going out. Some of the older men resented being told by a woman <laughs> or a girl that they had to do that job today because it was needed down there. A couple of girls went from the sheet metal department to welder to welding, and they were better welders than the men because their hands were smaller, their, they could do more delicate beading. The same with, with riveting. The girls could get their hands into places where men couldn't. But there were women in engine department in the, you name it, women were there doing the job. In the end, there were some thousands because the young men had all joined up. When I was being taught to recognize all the parts of a plane, there was some big bomber of some kind and going through it, there was a little piece of paper, and I've still got it, torn off a piece of cardboard. There were three symbols down it. Some young man was in that plane one time, and uh, did he go home? Yeah. And that was, that was uh, maybe my only feeling of really doing something. We did get recognition in September of 2000. Uh, I was invited to a ceremony at the Aircraft Museum and it was a dedication called An Angel's Memorial to honor the women in aviation and we were each presented with a lapel pin in the shape of an angel and Marie Wright, she was behind the project and uh, she said in her speech that we in the repair field had been their guardian angels. 